And away we go on a Monday. He is Mark Malusis. I am Keith Irizarry. It is Moose and Keith. The Better Cast Game of the Day preview is presented by Profit Exchange, America's first sports betting exchange. If you're in New Jersey, look to Profit Exchange. All right, Mr. Malusis, you yeah. got the Chargers, you got the Jets, you got MetLife Stadium, you have Dang Green is looking like a team that can make a run. You have the team from Los Angeles. Prime time is usually a struggle for them. Let's just start broad view. Oh, you broad strokes. Yeah, Macro. Broad stroke. um, <laughs> I think it's strength against strength. I mean, I think it's the Chargers offense and Justin Herbert. Um, even without Palmer tonight, and we know Mike Williams tore his ACL, Eckler's back, and you know how he's the the king of uh, not only running, but also catching the ball coming out of the backfield. We'll see if the rookie out of TCU, Quinton Johnson, starts to splash here in the second half for the Los Angeles Chargers. You know, listen, Herbert is as, as talented a quarterback as, as there is, really, in the National Football League, and it's a Jet defense that you know talked about being historically great, and it's the reason why – you know, they're a four and three football team. The reason why they won in Denver, the reason why they went out in second half against your Philadelphia Eagles, the the reason why they were able to to hold on, not hold on, come back against the Giants last week and win that game in overtime. So that's what makes it an interesting Monday night game is, you know, which which uh, unit which defines that organization is able to kind of impose their will on their opponent. Is it going to be Herbert and the Chargers, or is it going to be the Jets? The Jets are seem to be outside of New York. Nobody you know wants to believe in them because they're dealing with smoke and mirrors. And anytime you start to believe in the Los Angeles Chargers, historically, they go out there and disappoint you. I'll say this. The healthier this Jets defense gets, the more likely it does become one of those you know top eight-ish type of defense. So right now, they're kind of middle of the pack. Now, they do a lot of really good things. On the Chargers side of things, Eckler, you know, his yards per carry is under three since he came back from injury. He clearly is not him yet, or is he? And we'll get a chance to talk about that in just a second. And as for Justin Herbert, you're right. I mean, he is everything that has been advertised and more of the Chargers, by the way, they're three and four against the spread this season. That's something to pay attention to. Jets four, two, and one against the spread. So I mentioned... Eckler, I'll go first here. The over-under on our questions tonight, 47 and a half for the rushing yards. Now, listen, he hasn't topped this since he's come back from injury in three games. He has not looked like Austin Eckler. He hasn't. But you know what the Jets? They don't stop the run as well as you think. 144.9 rushing yards per contest. There could potentially be some room for Eckler to run I'm asking for 48 rushing yards from Eckler. I'm getting 48 rushing yards from Eckler. Let's go, Austin. All right, you like Eckler. I like that. I mean, I, listen, he's great. Low to the ground, we know that. He and he's got a great power. haircut. Uh, no, listen, he's an unbelievable running back, and he's an unbelievable fantasy running back. There's no question about it. So I can see that. I'll give you one. Chargers defense is terrible. Yeah. Now the question you have is, as you see up on our screen, number two, you know, Garrett Wilson does – does the Jets allow, do the Jets allow Garrett Wilson to kind of cut it loose tonight? I, I think they operate knowing that they've got limitations at the quarterback spot in Wilson. But if there's ever a game for him to be able to, to throw the football, weather is not going to be a factor uh, tonight. I have met life, full crispness in the air. I mean, this is what comes around in November. Uh, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. We just passed by Halloween. Um, I think, I think Wilson's going to make some throws tonight. So with that being said, Who's the best receiver on the Jets by far? Well, it's Garrett Wilson. The total for him is 66 and a half receiving yards. I'm going to go over 66 and a half receiving yards for Garrett Wilson tonight. Can't remember the name of the group, but I know the song was Hold On for One More Day. It was something with the <laughs> Wilson, right? The Wilson Sisters or something. Wilson Pickett, I don't know. Anyway, uh, hey, join the BetterCast promo uh, contest by answering pregame questions right now. You can get all of our picks for the game by signing up on demand on the BetterCast app. Download the free BetterCast app in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store as well. You sign up on demand. It is Wilson Phillips I was talking about. Yes. So boom, there you go. A hey, Profit Exchange is the first U.S. sports betting exchange with the best odds compared to any sports book. You get a no-sweat first bet up to $100 on your first matched wager offer open to People that are at least 21 years of age, you need to physically be present in the state of New Jersey. When you register, you can use the promo code 
BSN at ProfitBettingExchange.com or the app as well. That works also. Always People always get on their smartphones. I love the apps. Uh, terms and conditions, they apply. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER.